I should have mentioned that, yeah. Damn, I can't believe I broke 12 NDAs on stream. Fuck! Oh! Also, congrats on 600 followers. Yeah, it's it's been that like like that for a little bit now, but I've just been like deciding what to do and when to do it. I'm like. Fuck it! Let's jump on the opportunity! Just we're gonna play something you've never done before, Mega Man. It's more like it's a celebratory thing for also finishing the main games. Which Mega Man games are you doing on stream? Uh, Mega Man 8 and X4. Those are your favorite ones, right? Yes! I'm also a big fan of the Legends one, but that one would be too long to do in one sitting. Comfortably. I like how you have to do it in one sitting now. That's how you play Mega Man games. Okay, but I'm gonna be doing a run of eight and two runs of four in one sitting, so arguably worse. <laughs> Whew. I will not apologize for the yawn. You shouldn't! Be proud of your yawns, chat. They're a reminder that you're still alive. Also, man, since last night this song has been just lodged in the folds of my fucking brain. Alright, this is your first stream. Uh, since your absence. Yeah, in like two and a half weeks, something like that. What a game to come back to. Yeah, how tragic, right? I'd say if you can guess what song, what this is from, the song that is, you win nothing, but like, also it's the easiest thing to guess if you're in the Discord or talk to me at all. No backseating and no spoilers? Wow. How is anybody supposed to be in a chat in the stream where you can't backseat or spoil things? Right? Then yes, Kira, I'm back. Tragic, I know. That's not tragic. What do we say about self-deprecating humor? True, true. It's a joyous occasion. Everybody miss you. People miss you so much they have to go to my stream and use the torpid type as cameo redeem just to remind themselves of you. <laughs> Yeah, it sucked. I, I miss streaming a lot. It's just I didn't want to irritate the abscess, and I, like, man, antibiotics. Antibiotics make me feel like shit. Also, Tyrion, yes, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the sub. God. 44, that's like a double death in Japan. Yes, hey, Tyrion, hey, Autumn. Hey, Tyrion, I bet you enjoy hearing this song again.
I mean, Tyrion, I'm sure you recognize the song. Oops. A little too much turned up. I'd be shocked if you did, Ice Claw. Because I'm pretty sure you have, like, zero familiarity with the game this is from. You wouldn't know what this game is, Ice Claw. It's too much. I and mean, I'm sure Ice Claw's heard of the game. Oh god, somebody joined work. Uh, and when, we, when somebody joins work, there's, like, a little... You know, hey, this is so and so. They're from here. Their favorite game is this. Blah 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 blah. And somebody joined, and they listed as their favorite game, uh, Legends of Dragoon, uh, for the PS One. And I'm like, man, that's a deep cut. And he's like, oh well, I don't know if it's a deep cut or if I'm just old. What's your favorite game? Unless I said the uh, near for the PlayStation Three, and he just immediately reacted with. Uh, Oh my god, that's one of my favorite games of all time. I just thought this little flat. We're gonna get along swimmingly. Two people at the company finally with taste. Uh, actually, me, Bear, and a few other people watched it relatively recently. It's super good. Kira. Oh, Trouble Horse did. Yeah! With the correct ending, as the authors intended. I didn't realize fucking Rick Moranis could belt it out. We 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 watch the correct ending where everything goes to shit. Not the ones that focus groups want. Focus groups Okay. Want. I I need I need a, a break from this song. It's driving me insane. I had to listen to that song last night for half an hour straight as I solved a miserable block puzzle. <laughs> How do you want to play the Eurobeat Wii Shop remix? God, no. Don't you like Eurobeat or the Wii Shop? Right, Lola? I will explain nothing. Ah, uh, this song. Actually, what is this one? I need to know what 35 is. Eh, weak. Ah, this is the perfect song. Oh, we can do better. Eh. No. Oh, wait, no. What is this? No. I recognize all of these songs. Isn't it great? Because I had like 60 hours into the game. Uh, I have a bit more. No, sorry. 44 hours, my bad. Yeah, you have 70. Yeah, after 40 hours, I was just like, okay, I... I need to bail. I need to move on with my life. No, no. I, I need I need a different song. Sure. Get this and you're going to like it, chat. Oh, <laughs> Shut I up, Lola. I, I, I hate this entire area. Because you have to go through it no matter what you do. I guess it's better after the intro uh, passes. Yeah, this part. Oh yeah, Carrier is amazing, Axe. Yeah, no, this this song I think is the song I heard the most in the game. Yeah. I think my favorite song is when you play as a character and you start a run and then the first area has the character song. I look forward to streaming this game. 
but, make sure to record it all for YouTube. Yeah, I mean, that's the plan. I mean, my real problem is, chat, I need to do homework before even starting the streams, and that's sad. Might as well post it on the um, LP forum if you're doing that much work. No shit. Okay. Yes, you don't see the game yet. I need to make sure something worked. There we go. Oh no. Oh man, bear. Hey, hey everyone. Okay, is the game working? I can't see the game because we don't have Discord. I know. I'm just I'm just showing chat something real quick. Pose for the camera. Oh, something on my face. Oh no, it's something on my face. No, get it off. Pose for the camera, bear. Just know. Right here, chat. Oh no, my arm is completely out of view. I'm sorry. You cut my arm, I lost it in the war. <laughs> ah yes, the war. The VTuber wars. Okay, let me uh, move this it's window. This Aspire became a lawyer, how fucking dare you, I will sue you. Okay. I want you to know, chat, because it's been like two weeks, three weeks, like three weeks since I last played this game, maybe more, I don't remember shit. Lizard man! Okay. Lizard man. Okay, so that's how I point my gun. I've learned. I think at this point you might as well just restart the game. No! Fresh run. We did it for Resident Evil 3. Why is Carrier not good enough for that? Okay, let me check my map. Oh, this is- right, this area is layered, fuck this. Anora, if I killed Nyaners in the Element Battle of VTubers, I would be like, trial, tried at court and found not guilty, and then when I'm walking out of the court, somebody would approach me with a gun and murder me. No, they just stab you. Or stab me. You know what though? Victimless crime. Not you getting stabbed, the, the beheading nanner, nanners. <laughs> Victimless crime stabbing bear. No, no, bear's the victim there. Also the world for having lost bear. Aww. Uh -huh. I have remembered the controls, everyone. Praise me. <laughs> Good job. It's so cold in the Sweden chat, you have no clue. I mean, it's... it's... it's fall. No, it's winter, it was snowing today, Tarpit. Uh, winter is January. well, winter is technically late December. I b tell that to the snow. Okay, hey snow! Hey, okay, you're gonna need to put your, uh, like your speakers or headphones or whatever out the window so I can do this first. Well, it's not snowing now, it's not gonna hear you. Oh, okay, I see how it is. It's not the day. Wow. Not... Hey, Chad, I figured out the correct way to go. Good job. I'm so smart. How a snowball fight with winter. Wait. It's music. I like it. Hey, I'm black jacket. It's it's fucked. I, I need to mention it again because it's a new stream, so I can I can rehash the same comment. The music in this game is good. It sucks that it's never around. Wow, I would like to officially apologize to the people watching this playthrough back to back in the VOD, because they had to hear this in the same day again. That is true, Lola. Was this on the Wheel of Jalico? This was not on the Wheel of Jalico, because people need a reason to tune in for Torpid. Piss. I am stealing my my friend's thunder while, while he's away sick. Yeah, everyone, I had to take time off of streaming because I had an abscess in my mouth. And then also had to take two weeks of antibiotics, which made me feel like shit. 
I don't play well with Bear. antibiotics. Bear is now hyper realistic. Yes, and I'm coming for you. Antibiotics fuck up my stomach. You know, when you say you had abscess, uh, I was like, I don't know what it actually means, because I'm sure it's called something else in Serbian, but I assume it's disgusting, so I didn't look it up, and I just believed you when you said you didn't feel well. Imagine, like, a gross, infected lump in your mouth. Which part of I didn't look it up did you not hear? Think of it like a pimple. Oh my fucking god, Tor. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda like that. It was gross. Yeah, I imagine it was like. It was a, a at its worst. Mind. You could actually hear it when I talked, cause cause it was in a spot. It was like, it, oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Let's focus on the shitty game. It was on the roof of my mouth. You see, so my tongue would go against it whenever I did like a th noise or certain certain sounds. <laughs> Thankfully, it was painless. Uh, the, the only time it caused any discomfort was... ...when it caused inflammation of the gums between two teeth. Anything else you want to share with the class? No, if I really wanted to gross you out, I could tell you about the time that no, I... No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. I've had a long day. I've had a long day, and I want to finish my cam cherry coke. Ooh, we're in deep in the water now. Look at... Everyone, everyone, look at these animations. Oh, oh, the back one is very good. This is so good. I love this. Uh. His hands are so over-animated, I don't think... I don't think these people had a reference of actually walking in waist-high water. Hey chat, hey chat, I'm -a gonna get ya! I'm -a gonna get ya! Auditioning for the Thriller music video. This is a Dreamcast hero. Yeah, this is Dreamcast. <laughs> Wow, this looks like a PS1 game. Please, this is too high fidelity, thank you. This looks like a PS3 game. Honestly, yeah, it has the quality of like an early Xbox 360 game. No, I was more making fun of them. I know, I'm just saying. Game and comedy. It looks like a, it looks like a nice looking Dreamcast game to me. Yeah. And the problem is the character design, but that's... That's impossible to reconcile. I mean, the Dreamcast never had good characters. Just look at Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. I will have you know, I love the facial animations in Sonic Adventure 1. Where they just, like, like open their mouth and like, ah! Yeah, like they're having, like, some sort of horrible full facial seizure or something. Every time they talk. Oh. I always thought that the facial animations in Sonic Adventure looked like, um, like testing anim mouth animations and like software. Or, or like, like those videos it. when they do like the uh, X game, but 300% animation. <laughs> that kind of shit. So Sonic, if he talked in the Unreal Engine 5. God, I will never get over these animations. They're so good. We got 20 T7 bombs. I'm I'm glad that I remember all of this. Thank God I have a decent memory. Carrier's better than the old bleed. I feel like old bleed has more charm. I I agree. How was that? Carrier is more playable, but it, it lacks the spectacle of Illbleed. Uh, I think Illbleed is one of those games that makes no sense until you actually understand how it thinks and then it's fine. Yeah, no, it, it, it's more like... This is gonna sound stupid, but more like a theme park sort of thing. Because that's the idea. I get it, cause, yeah, because it's in a theme park. 
Like, it is a haunted house-ass game. It's not, like, pure survival horror like this is. Well, that was awkward. I hope it was unimportant. The, this is horror? In the most technical sense. Man, people in the Dreamcast era were really easily scared. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't find a lot of shit scary, honestly. Not like a, ho ho, I'm so brave, but more a, man... I... I never realized how little horror affected me until I started streaming horror games. What's the scariest horror game you played? Scariest horror game I played... Scariest horror game I played. I don't know. I'm just like, my brain is like, what is the most unstable game I've played where I felt genuine fear every time the game started to hang? Cause that's horror. That is real horror. I feel like when I play, um... Resident Evil games like they're horror but I definitely feel more anxious than anything playing them because it's a lot of resource management I'm like oh shit oh fuck oh shit do I have enough god yes actually you're correct Naren Deadly Premonition the PC port is the scariest game I've ever played What is the scariest non-horror game you played? Hmm. That's another good question. Hmm. Mizerna Falls. I I wouldn't call that one scary though. No, I, I can kind of agree with that. Mostly just the fear of missing the, the dates. Like, there is this sort of frantic fucking energy to playing Mizerna Falls if you want to get <clears throat> all or as many of the events as possible. Because you, you never stop moving. And you are hoping and praying you will get there in fucking time. Doesn't, doesn't one of the game overs involve a bear killing you or something? Yes. You get fucking mauled because you fucked up shooting it. Track hero, so roguelikes. See, like, roguelites are, are fine because there's the expectation. And you, a lot of them, at least, you're always progressing to some degree. But, like, I, I, I have had games fucking die and lose shitloads of progress or corrupt their own saves. I've had that happen before. Not on stream, but I have had it. So the final segment of Zero Ranger is the scariest game for you. No, I fucking love that shit. Also, I, I still say my favorite song in that game is Despair. That's a pretty good song. It is a damn good be, song. I but I meant Final Assignment isn't the one that erases your save file. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 because that there's expectation. You know what you're getting into. And like for Zero Ranger, it's very easy to get your progress back. I know a game that will terrify you. What? Diver's Dream. Okay, yes, but that's... I'd say that's cheating, but no. No, it's not. You're correct. It's like why I could never play, uh... Oh, fuck, what's the name of it? Subnautica. Subnautica. I, I... It's like how I, I think Soma is a great game narratively, but I could never play it, so I had a friend play it for me. That's actually the answer to my question. The scariest non-horror game is Subnautica. I will always maintain the ocean is terrifying. Fuck the ocean. I, I'd better not, it's salt water.
Yeah, that was great when I tried to test that Lolo Blue Legend of Water. And I hit a certain area, I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> nope, I'm out. I've never played something like that. I've played Diver's Dream, though, and Diver's Dream can be pretty scary. Yeah, for, for reference, chat, I, I have... The general term is thalassophobia. Basically, deep open water fucks me up bad. I get, like... Not panicky, just, like, sick to my stomach. Oh, he tricked you. You got juked. I want to see something. <gasps> Can you shoot him? No, it's not it. Can you scan him? Yeah, I, I wonder. Yeah, you should be able to scan him. For reference, I'm not doing this to get around the consequences. His dick is dangerous! Danger zone. You got the dangy weenie. Does it let you? Does it let you shoot him now that you know he's dangerous? And it probably let me shoot him in the first place because there's a bunch of people I've been able to shoot. I just you know you kill him. Held restraint, but also die, bitch. Can you seduce him? Um, no, this isn't the original Doom. You can't talk to the monsters. I uh, got me. Quirk, quirk. Wow, one bullet, okay. I like how I have more level 3 energy drink than anything else. Technically, it's only worth using level 3 when you're low on health. Mm hmm. That's why I used it too. Also, I completely forgot to, like, retweet you and shit. Boop, 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 boop. Can't believe I'm not doing social media engagement. Uh, it's fine. I'm terrible at social media engagement. I barely update my Twitter. I used to be a lot more active, and then I just kind of stopped caring. The ennui set in. Oh, no, I got a... Hit tweet on blue sky. No, my notifications. Yeah, Ice Claw, I'm terrified of commitment. Don't don't work in the software industry then. You have to make a lot of commitments. Yeah, it's true, Honora, and I'm, I'm sad that you pointed that out, because I didn't think to do that. And I should have done it. Wait. Oh, there are other exits in the- oh, fuck me. God damn it! This shit, god damn motherfucker. I want to try out Amnesia the Bunker. I saw some video footage of it and it seemed pretty good. Yeah, I've heard it's alright. I, I just, like, I have no interest in that kind of horror. But did you see the lamp tour? But it's so good. I'm not a huge fan of, like, the runaway horror stuff. I find it annoying. Tell me more about your hatred for Sun Hill Shattered Memories. I've never played Shattered Memories. I feel like I'm doing myself a favor by that. You're, you wanted to stream Silent Hill 4 and Silent Hill Shattered Memories is less interesting but more playable. I hate that I've also been getting like the urge to play Homecoming again. And I really Homecoming. shouldn't. I mean... I wouldn't mind... Homecoming. I'll do four first and then homecoming. Oh my god. No, no, you gotta you gotta get you gotta space me out. You can't do them back to back. <laughs> can we can we do Nocturne though? I think you'll enjoy that one. 
Uh, why Ice Claw? The, the answer to that one is because I saw somebody play through it recently. And it just, it filled me with the urge again, because I, it, my first Silent Hill was Homecoming. I experienced it on stream, actually. Yes, Ice Claw. Yeah, I think you enjoy Nocturne, I think that would be a fun stream. Because you like Alone in the Dark, and you like Sierra you Adventure games, and you for? like horror You're games. Just gonna die. You should do something special for a Halloween stream. I should, Kira. I just don't know what. You need to understand that most of my plans are incredibly last second. At best. Oh, I managed, I managed to pick a Halloween stream for myself, and I'm proud of my pick. Mm hmm? Uh, I'm gonna be playing the original Postal for Halloween. Hmm. <laughs> Someone once dropped, like, a few months ago, like, oh yeah, Postal 1, the original, because we were talking about the games on stream. Someone dropped, like, yeah, the original Postal is a horror game, and my big brain was like, hmm, horror game, October soon, hmm, content. Uh, also, Sprock, that's perfectly fine. I would say that, uh, the first three are, without a doubt, the most playable. So, oh, never yeah. do the HD versions, they're terrible. I would recommend playing the first three and then having the opinion that the third game is the best one because then people will want to argue with you, but they can't. I mean, ultimately, it's what do you want out of Silent Hill? I think when you say three is your favorite one, it's like all the Silent Hill 2 fans give you the side eye, but they can't really argue with you, even though they don't agree with you. Okay, what is this room? I think I actually like one over two. Um, I think I still like two over one, but I think three is probably my favorite. After playing all three of them recently and going off of my memory of uh, four... I think I've played all the mainline ones except Origins now that I think about it. Uh, I, I will say this. Three has the best protagonist, without a doubt. Yes, I think three has one of the best horror game protagonists. Period. My my one big complaint about three is the combat, specifically that it really doesn't want you to fight. It really does not want you to fight. With three? Yeah. I didn't get that impression. Uh, I just fucking killed shit. I did, because there were a lot of areas with just a metric fuck ton of enemies that you basically gotta run through or get fucked. Isn't that like every Silent Hill? Like, I don't, no. I don't particularly fight that many enemies in Silent Hill. Like, it never seems worth it. In my experience, you could do it just fine in 1 and 2. Three. I guess I'm just used to walking past shit. Very much amped up the number of enemies. Yeah, because... Resident Evil is the one that gives you a narrow hallway and tricky enemies, whereas Silent Hill, I feel like there's very few exceptions. Like, you, you have the apartments in Silent Hill 2, and those are usually too narrow to bother avoiding enemies. Nah, Axe, combat in 1 was easy. Well, uh, you see, Torpid, um, you're playing normal people in Silent Hill 2, and they don't know how to fight, which is why the combat is bad, and that's intentional. Except in Homecoming, where he's a military guy, so he's allowed to have combat mechanics. Which, the best part about that is the knife is your best yes. weapon. Uh, he, well, it, it's fine, because it's also the knife is also the uh, monster's best weapon. Fucking nothing more dangerous in that game than the, the nurse with a scalpel. Yep. No, it's great. Just the knife attacks so fucking fast that no, like everything gets hit stunned to shit. Yeah. Also, that game's story um, just sucks because it's two, but worse. Yes, I don't like the story in Homecoming at all. It, it very much felt like I, I already seen it with two. Because you had, except uh, it was worse. <laughs> yeah. Do we care about Homecoming spoilers? I don't know. I, I who fucking cares? Homecoming sucks. Um. So the entire thing of Homecoming, having a military man 
who is good at combat, therefore now we have combat mechanics, makes no sense, because he he's not even a military man, he's lying to himself that he's a military man. Yeah, the, the big twist is that he got stuck in a, mil in a uh, mental hospital. Everything. Yeah, like the military jacket is not even his, it's like what, from his grandfather or something? His dad. His dad was his a military dad. man. Yeah, so it's just like it doesn't even make sense. Um, and then downpour is just not good. Just like not good. Um, Shattered Memories. Shattered Memories is probably the best made non team silent silent hill, but also it's kind of pointless. Is that the one that basically stripped out combat? Yes, so Homecoming went. Um, Silent Hill combat has always sucked, therefore we're going to make combat good. Uh, and Shattered Memories was, combat in Silent Hill has always sucked, therefore we're removing combat. It is interesting, the two completely different ways they went. I am, uh, I have always maintained that horror games need to have some combat. Uh, or way uh, where you can have more options than just running away or avoiding combat because um, putting pressure on somebody to decide whether to f uh, like fight or flee uh, adds a lot of anxiety and makes horror better. Yeah. Uh, also, like, uh, in like not inventory, but like resource management can th make things more stressful too. Yes. That's why I think, uh, that's why I like Nemesis a lot, because it's an active choice uh, of whether you fight him or run. It's why I also think in um, Alien Isolation that the worker Joes are more scary than the alien, because the alien is just, you know, if he sees you and you don't have fire, you're dead. That's it. It's binary. But with uh, the worker Joes, you have to weigh it out, like, okay, I can technically kill them, but it's a massive risk and resource rate, but I can't do it. Uh, I think also, like, uh, from what I have played, Resident Evil 7 struck a really good balance, too, in that yes. there's oh, always well, this, this threat of the family, and yes, you can shoot the hell out of them to get them out of your hair for a little bit, or you can just try to work around them as they bear down on you. Yeah, do you know where you're going? No! I see something special over here! Oh, I know what I can do. I can set a mine or bomb. Um, Resident Evil 7 was extremely good until they forgot what kind of game they were making in the mine segment. Yeah, that did not work. It's like there's something over here and it tried to draw my attention over here too. Yeah, I know. I'm curious what Resident Evil 9 is gonna be, because I thought Resident Evil 8 was great, but Resident Evil 8 is basically like a greatest hits album. It's just like, here's the, all the cool parts you remember from previous Resident Evil games. Our set was clearly meant to be a new IP for Capcom checking out and slap the RE label on it. I am pretty sure Capcom is very hesitant to make... Well, no, I wouldn't say very hesitant to make UIP. I don't think they would invest that much in something that's not UIP. More like Crapcom, am I right? Uh, I mean... What was their last UIP? Uh, Exoprimal? Mm-hmm. I love, by the way, this fucking trend of Capcom, where... You, you, we see dinosaurs, and we're like, thank god Capcom remembers Dino Crisis. And they're like, uh, what? No, this is Exo Primal. This is the, the co-op PvP game or whatever. And then they announced that other thing, which I don't remember, where everybody was like, oh my god, ancient Japanese spirits and shit like that? Is this Onimusha? They're like, no, this is a new IP. What are you talking about? What Onimusha? We don't know what it is. I, I don't know what I need to do. Do you want me to look up a guide? I don't know how much it would help, but go ahead. 
are we in like um, what was what was the key name D one or something that you used? We are currently on deck five. Deck five. Okay. Yeah, or to switch the buys for pistol magazine. Kill the leeches. Head back to the second lab locker block A, unlock the southeastern door with the D2 ID card. Do you use the D2 ID card? I know you use the D1 ID card, I think. Yeah, you're gonna have to give me a second as I figure out which inventory. Okay, so I have the C ID card. The room okay. 303 card key. Um, you need to find the D2 ID card on a body. I did, I used the uh, D2 ID card and I think that's how I got the C card. Okay. Everything is so samey. Unlock the southeastern door with the two ID card. You're in the second control room. Use the lit panel. Do you use the lit panel in no, the control room? I don't think so. That's what I have to do. Okie dokie. Hey, right, Kira? It's a great thing. Sorry, every time I see Kira's name, I'm reminded of that meme of which detective would be able to solve the Death Note case. It's really good! It's a really good, and I disagree with a lot of it, but it's just like, it's a meme where you stare and you think about it. Okay, like, but what mm. matters is we can all agree that Columbo would 100% figure it out. Yeah, Columbo could solve any case, I think. If we had Columbo, it wouldn't have taken us this long to find out who killed Tupac. Grace tragedy is that I don't think Detective Furuhata was on there, and Detective Furuhata would also solve the case. While being terrible. There was one detective missing that I was annoyed that wasn't there. I can't remember which one. Bless you, Ali. Goddamn. Cat was sneezing real loud. I like how the one from Ubi Neko would figure out who the what the Death Note is, but not who Kira was. Zenigata wouldn't be able to solve anything. Like he wouldn't figure out the Death Note or who Kira is. No, but that's the weird part, is he would be hounding Kira, but he wouldn't know it's Kira. Yeah. Was Poru on that list? I don't remember. Also, was Detective Conan on that list? Okay, so there should be some blinking lights. In the control room. So how's it phrased? Unlock the southeastern door with two new car. You're in the second control room. Use the lit panel. There is no lit panel. Oh, we're in the first, first. control room. Head back to the second lab locker block A, unlock the southeastern door with the D2 ID card. I promise I can't. Oh, okay, there we go. Oof, uh, okay. Oh, this is terrible to maneuver. Yeah, the second, second lab locker. So you want the control room that's there somewhere. Yeah, I know how to get there. Because I saw you mouse over it. Yeah, I want you to know, chat, that like there's no way to mouse through the map. You just hit up and down. That's how you move between rooms and just kind of guess. 
Now, 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 we don't know if this supports the Dreamcast mouse because we're not emulating that. You know what I mean, though. I know. There's no way to freely we look at the map. Well, Destiny 2 wasn't invented yet, so console gamers didn't know they could hover over things. Yeah, but honestly, they were living a better life for not having Destiny 2 in their lives. The Destiny cursor and uh, Destiny power levels have da done irreparable damage to video games. I agree. Bungie must be stopped. Oh, right. I think the thing you were thinking of there was the puzzle I looked up the solution for. Oh, did you so solve that? Yeah, I uh, I straight up just looked up the solution, so I didn't take forever on it. Okay. Unlock the western door with the D1 ID card. Kill the leeches. Okay, so th you already did all this. Yep. Kill the leeches, use the elevator. On deck 4, take the elevator to level 3. Kill... No, no. Okay. Have you found Bob's letter? Uh, I don't think so, because I, I don't think I ever went to higher higher decks. Okay, so you need to use the elevator after you kill the leeches, and you go to decks 4, 3, 4. On deck 4, take the elevator to level 3. No, Destiny did well. It didn't review well, and fans are upset about it, but a lot of people who don't complain on the internet play Destiny. I just, I find it so boring. It's one of those games that's not, that's... It's kind of like where people say, oh, nobody plays Diablo or World of Warcraft or whatever. Like, people play that. People even play Overwatch too. We didn't do Fortnite well. Uh, that reminds me of the anecdote of... Um, the guy who did Darkstalkers and uh, they released Darkstalkers for the first one and it was the top game in arcades that month and it did very well and the CEO of Capcom then called him in and he said he, he thought he was going to get praised for how well Darkstalkers did and he got I'll wait for this, this Jessifer Manning Yeah, <gasps> I spoke to him on the radio. I took some pictures of Ark and gave them to Dr. Noble, and the doctor gave me some information about Ark. Lieutenant, you saw it? What is it? Until I take a look at the data the doctor gave me, there's not much I can say. But it seems to have attached itself to the nuclear core. The nuclear core? How could... You're right. I just spoke to the doctor in the radio, but whatever it is, it seems to be much more dangerous than we thought. I'll continue looking for survivors. Lieutenant, be careful. We don't know what's happened here. So anyway, he goes into the CEO's office just expecting to be praised for how well Darkstalkers did, and the CEO's first response was, um, this is terrible, you did a terrible job, this are nowhere near as much as Street Fighter 2. Yeah, it checks out. Which is probably how a lot of companies operate, where you can make like a smash head, but if it doesn't earn Fortnite money, you'll be chewed out for not earning Fortnite money. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them have ridiculous expectations for sales for games. Remember the what was the two million copies in the first month for the Tomb Raider reboot? Yep, and it was considered a a financial failure. Yeah, to be fair, Square considered anything uh, their Western studios did as a financial failure, and anything any failures from their Japanese studio partners to be, um, you know underperformers and then just quickly forgotten and never referenced. Current trend of buying up a bunch of studios by like three publishers is not really a lot of more game variety. 
Um. Yeah. I mean, the the answer is uh, execu the executive class is terrible universally. I think the epic one so far has probably been the worst one. Mm hmm. I, I like I in general don't obviously like layoffs in the industry, um, and get annoyed by them. But I think the one that upset me the most was the Mediatonic layoffs, because that was just. What a shit deal. You make a hit game, you make Fall Guys, and then Epic buys you, and you literally, like, did nothing wrong. Like, there's not even something to attach, like, oh, it's a bad game or whatever. And then you have people getting laid off. I because mean, you belong to a big company that's restructuring. Let's talk about fucking Paradox, uh, and the recent, um, Airbrain Scheme shit. Oh, I missed that. What, oh, was that with the... No, I think of something else. Go explain. Please. Lamp Lamplighter League, I think was the name of the game. Uh, it's going. No, I missed that. Uh, yeah. So basically, they yeah, Hairbrain Schemes have been working on this game for a little while. Uh, uh, Paradox basically, she didn't advertise it at all. More or less, shadow dropped it and then laid off eighty percent of the staff. Actually, they laid off eighty percent of the staff right as it launched of Hairbrain Schemes, and then said, we're letting go of Hairbrain Schemes. Wow. Yeah, I missed that. I didn't even know about that game. Well, the problem is... Case in point. The, the previous Paradox CEO was fine. He, he was fine. He seemed perfectly acceptable. But then the shareholders ousted him, essentially. <laughs> and replaced him with a standard tech bro. Yep. Infinite growth, baby. Infinite growth. A line goes up. Well, that's the other issue too, Loafsties, is they didn't want anything licensed. Because basically, Microsoft was eating their lunch. Hairbrain Schemes pitch making a Battletech 2, which I'm pretty sure was their most successful title. Uh, didn't... I mean, Battletech was probably the most successful title. Didn't they also make the Shadowrun games? Yeah, which were amazing. Yeah, I thought those games were fantastic. I have no real feelings on uh, Battletech, because it just didn't super interest me, but the Shadowrun games were great. Yeah. I'll take the story of the first of those three Shadowrun games is still the best. I sincerely disagree, but... That's fine. That's why I said it was not an actual hot take, it wasn't ironically a hot take. It I was, like it was fine, the problem was the execution. I mean, it was the roughest one to play, I remember. It didn't even have party members using their skills for you. Well, that and also it didn't have like consistent party members or anything, and you basically had to constantly shell money out of pocket to hire people. Yeah, they were a bit too close to the Super Nintendo one. But that's why I said the story I thought was, uh, at least it was my favorite. Uh, the what's it called? Deadman Switch. Yes. Deadman Trigger. Deadman Switch. Deadman Switch. That's, I thought that story was fantastic. That ending actually, like, bummed me out in a good way. Like, not in the, oh, that's a bad ending. It's more like, wow, all this sucks, man. Yeah, Dragonfall was probably the most enjoyable to play. Uh, I, so, my stance is, I think, uh, Hong Kong was the best mechanically. But, yeah! Progress, baby! Uh, but Dragonfall had the best plot. I can see that. I still prefer the first game story. I prefer the combo of story and Dragonfall the most, like story and gameplay. The and Hong Kong, I, I liked it overall, but it didn't leave a big impact on me. I really like the ending of Hong Kong. Because it basically yes. rewards you for... I can't see shit, Torben. Uh, that's fine. 
I, I can just barely see anything. Oh, that's how we see. We sure are gone and go blind from the flashing. I guess this is like a cool setup where they want it to feel like a movie where like you only see uh, when you're shooting. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that was the big problem with uh, Shadowrun Hong I went back? No, I didn't. Shadowrun Hong Kong is... Uh, it, the performance was bad. I don't remember that it, part. It, it ran like, like emulation. garbage. Also, even though it doesn't actually work that way, I can, I always played the same character uh, in all three games, which was my charismatic gunman detective who would always become a shaman because that was the only thing charisma was good for outside of social skills. See, me being the cool person I am, I always had the charismatic street samurai uh, who would basically just use assault rifles and sniper rifles. And so after getting far enough in the game... Oh, hello, friend. Uh, what? she would just sit at the back of a room, sniping everything, murdering the hell out of it. So what I liked with my, uh, dude is something they did where every set of portraits from the first game was available in subsequent games, but they had, like, little slight tweaks to them, so I could still play the same character and pick the same portrait. And I believe I was also X-Corp. So, I had the corp, uh, etiquette. I, I will say this, Carmine, it's part of what I liked about Hong Kong, is I was able to do a, basically a full chrome run. Nah, I was all natural, baby. Yeah, but monofilament wire. Nah, I, I have party members to do that shit. God, even just remembering the ending of the first game, I fucking love it. My issue with the first game's plot is if you're not familiar with, like, the greater Shadowrun setting, it sounds really fucking stupid. I I thought it sounded fine. I'm not familiar with the overall Shadowrun setting, and I was fine with it. I don't know, when like, I first yeah, played okay, it, I uh, thought the twist uh, was really dumb. You didn't like the bugs? I didn't like the, the fucking extra dimensional space bugs, no. I thought that was like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, that just happened, though. I, I thought it was fine. No, I just like the, the twist at the end when you call... Uh, when you call the lawyer, quote-unquote, then you actually realize what your friend did. And then, like, your buddy who's there... Um, uh, was like, so, so what did he say? What's what about the money? Like, like what, what's going on? And one of the options was like, uh, he just said thanks. <laughs> and I like that. I mean, yeah. Look I, I just thought the end was sweet. Also, I got the fucking screw over the asshole detective, so I was very happy about that. I mean, I still like I, Dragonfall's ending a lot. I That one's also sweet. Yeah. Did you lie to the detective at the end of the first game that there was a party for him? No. No, I think I played that if pretty straight. If you have a good charisma. Uh, so what was it? Uh, I was asked... Yeah, the corp asks you, what do you want? You can have anything. And one of the options is I want this detective fired. And when you request that, the like super mega corp guy like actually cracks a smile because he didn't expect something so stupid as a request and he says like okay done and because that was funny you get another request jack and then you can lie to the detective there's a party waiting for him at the police station really quick jack what the fuck are you looking at uh is there an item pick up there i don't think jack has ever looked at item pickups he just has this weird who are you? I'm with Spark. Are you okay? 
Yeah, so you came to rescue us? You're a little late. The You're a little bitch. Damaged. Up ahead, water is coming in. It seems it was the captain's decision. I forgot about these angles. The stopped. Yeah, that's you mean right. the random the camera angles? The with all the monsters the, board, the angles. But only one of the charges went off, and at this rate, the ship will never sink. Is there anything you can do? If these mutants reach land, God help us. Yeah, I know. We have to stop them somehow. Leave it to us. You go to the flight deck. Gotcha. Then I'll go. Oh, yeah, here, take this. I'll see you later. If we're both still alive. Ooh, a floppy. Don't copy Thanks. that floppy. I will copy the fuck out of that floppy. Hey, that psych has ruined floppies for me. Oh? Well, you know that's that uh, skit that Red Pray did that makes fun of Darkseid fell on everybody submitted videos, and Psyche drew the dog with floppy ears. No, but thank you for telling me. Yeah, he drew a dog. He was wa reading instructions and calling it... He, he had this bit where he was reading instructions to draw a dog with floppy ears. And how the instructions were bullshit, and then he pans the camera to his drawing, and it's a draw dog with floppy disks for ears. Really quick, uh, I love this game, and I love needing to reload the instant I enter the room. That's not the mm -hmm. game's fault, but I'm gonna blame the game anyway. Don't hate the player, hate the wait, no wait, don't hate the game, hate the player. Uh, also, Steve, that is actually very early. We we've met the leave me alone guy in like the first stream. I don't even remember the first stream. I just remember that we're for some reason sending everybody to the deck, even though our friend died on the deck immediately after we left him alone for two minutes. Ah, oh, shit. Bear, you're... Do you have Nitro? I have Nitro, Will. Uh, you're in my, my stream Discord. There's a button there I want you to press. Um... Let me find your Discord. Uh oh. Leave me alone. Hi, <laughs> I don't have Nitro anymore. My free three months of Nitro ran out a while back. You can't do this to me. I'm a fucking wizard. I will do whatever I goddamn want. Okay, well, if we play one from Rudorg, we can play one from mine. What do I do? There we go. A pro plays for horror. I was kind of expecting Lizard Man. Nah. Wow, just because I'm a scaly, you think I'm gonna play Lizard Man? Fuck you. Right, we referenced it at the start of the fucking stream. Uh, also, Loaf Sneeze, the wizard clip is from Realism 2. R-E-E. -E. Uh, it's a Doom Wad. That's oh. very good. Oh, it's from there. Okay. God, that game is so good. It is. Realism 2 is so it. fucking good. I, w I wish they made that like an actual commercial game. I'd pay that money. Yeah, same. It's also great the reason behind it is Realism 2 happened because COVID was going on and they all felt like shit because of it. So like, let's do something fun. Uh, is that a new model or a uh, new textures for the old model? This is a completely new model. The, the, as per channel tradition, I'm first showing off on a Torpid stream. G give me one second. I'm gonna pause the game real quick. Once again, everyone, check him out. Hi. Wait, wave to the camera. Yeah. You, you lost half your arm in the war, but that's fine. That's fine. I think I let you yeah, show it actually, off like that. Hmm? Yeah, I love it. It's very nice. It and is, yes, the suit is toggleable, but not on this stream. Very high quality. Yeah, uh, the texture work, the artist said, this is the same artist uh, that did the bear model that they use. Uh, I think he has a uh, much better talent for scalies, because even though the bear model is very good, the texture work on this is kind of insane. But yeah, I'm a big fan. It's very good. Yeah. 
Get back in your fucking corner. No, not in the corner. There we go. No, so this no, this is all to if I ever get big enough to have a uh, TV tropes page. This is all just to fuck with the TV tropes page because they have to put in like four entries for early bird cameo. I'm just glad that there's only been one instance of me being anywhere on TV tropes. And it was on like, I think it was the Straw Hat Nose page, and specifically about how I hate Commander Keen. That's weird. I'm on TV <laughs> Tropes in, in the results tracker for Arcade Ben, and that's about it. I'm missing a top hat and monocle. Ah, uh, no, this isn't meant to be a gentleman's suit. This is meant to be. Business. A corporate business suit, yeah. Uh, the suit has been was designed by a friend and confidant, Necrotex, who is very good at drawing suits. God damn it, Steve! Not too key. Ah, that was a good one, Steve. I like that. I like you, Steve. I don't understand. I look like one of the council people in Divinity Dragon Commander. I I appreciate that comment. I I, I find that is I think that's a compliment. Thank you. I actually have an alternate um, clothing set for this, but I'm not using it for stream. Um, I have a Hawaiian shirt and shorts. I don't know what this wants from me. Well, why don't you look up the solution to work for all your other puzzle games? I don't- I don't look up solutions. How dare you? You literally admitted to looking up the solution for the previous puzzle. Yeah, because it would have taken too long and I didn't feel like brute forcing it. Do you know how you even have to adjust this? Is like no. everything a 50? I- actually, I, I- There may have been- you know, give me a sec. Well, GameFAQ says what you need to do, but it doesn't say how you would know you need to do that. Yeah, that's what's throwing me. I don't recall anybody mentioning it. Nope. You know what this game is missing? A codec uh, that you can actually use on your own initiative. Uh, I, I will say this though, I do use guides specifically for bad adventure games. Like? Uh, like King's Quest. Or Police Quest. Wh which one? Yes. Wow, you're saying Quink? Quink. Quink. King's Quest is <laughs> <laughs> You're saying King's Quest is bad? Yes. Okay. By modern standards, yes. I mean, I believe most Sierra Adventure games are bad. You, know, you get to look at this panel for a little bit. I'll be right back. I don't know. Torpid's off to order a guide. Calling the Sierra helpline for this. No, I'm off to pee. And please, it's the Jalico helpline. Jalico helpline. Ah, Jalico. The Jalico helpline where you just call it and they tell you to fuck off. No, they just tell you Jalico and then they hang up. Brother Will said those games were meant for intelligent gamers. She said. What, oh, that sounds like a statement David Sterling would make. Oh, my game is for people who are intelligent. 
people like me. I'll admit I make dumb games for dumb people. That's my that's my lot in life. David Serlin. David Serlin is the he it is the guy who made Chess Two, the sequel to Chess. Um, he's also famous for doing Street Fighter Two Turbo HD and Fantasy Strike. Uh, he's also famous for writing the article uh, Playing to Win, which a lot of uh, fighting game uh, players and content creators kind of reference in spirit. I've heard so much about Chess 2, the sequel to Chess, but I've never uh, played nor seen gameplay of it. Um... I don't care for chess 2 because I don't particularly like chess 1 either. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try out chess 3 um, with uh, Dante from the Devil May Cry series as a guest uh, character. The Williams retired and bought themselves a boat to cruise around it. I think that's respectful. A respectable like you. You made your mark in the industry, you earn a lot of money, pack up and leave. That's the way to go. But, um... Yeah, um... David Serlin is one of those people who is a notable author in video games, but not a mainstream author. He's like a niche author. He's not like super niche. He's not like artsy niche. He's just like whatever is between micro celebrity and celebrity in gaming. I guess I like it's the electrical supply board. I guess. Okay, so I know what the objective here is, and I can tell you, but I don't understand how you would know that that's the objective. What is the objective, out of curiosity? The objective is to empty tank two. Completely. Done. Um, I think that's what it wants. Maybe you need to max out one. Let me check just in case. Da -da. All you need to do is make two empty. Take the power completely out of two. That's what it says. Okay. That that's it. Mission accomplished. Go to a power supply on the wall, get the fuse from the middle cabinet. Oh, that's what there we're doing. Is. Okay, I understand now. Yeah. Basically, yeah, we need to get the fuse from this for a different area. Uh, so we just need to completely turn this fucking thing off so we could rip out the fuse. It makes sense in hindsight, it just wasn't super obvious in the moment. Yeah. Yeah, you should have had something like, oh, I can't remove the fuse while there's power connected. Instead of just opening and closing it. Uh, also, I can't comment on... Armac, but I've met John Romero and he was very nice. He didn't particularly, it, it didn't have that in the conversation with me, but there was, um, when uh, Double Fine did a Devs Play, one of the Devs Plays had John Romero. Um, and I, basically they asked him, like, oh, do you feel bad that you haven't really had, like, a big hit since Doom? Like, in the sense of, like, as big as Doom. And his attitude is, well, there's a bunch of bands who have only one album that's, like, amazing and fantastic and everybody remembers. Um, and people still listen to that band, so I'm fine with having one massively successful influential game yeah, in my career. It's fucking Doom. Yeah. Like... I, I, 
I mean, I've, I've talked to people who, and in the industry, who are like, oh, what has John Romero done lately? I'm like, that doesn't matter. He redefined the industry once. What more do you want, man? You're probably not going to redefine it even that much. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's fucking doom. It's why I respect uh, Orson Welles, uh, how he just capitalized on the making Citizen Kane and everything. Anytime somebody uh, like questioned him, he was just like, yeah, but I made fucking Citizen Kane. Like, yep, okay, yeah. yep, you got them there, you made Citizen Kane. I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna peak early, peaking early with fucking Doom? Pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, it's also like how, um, you know, as much as I don't. Oh. Deck five, where are you? I'm on deck five too. I'm headed for deck four. Can you meet me there? Sure. Be careful. Yeah, you too, bro. You too, bro. Too, bro. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, it's how even though I don't like Notch, Notch made Minecraft. M most people in the games industry can only like dream of ever making something as influential. Like, I don't know, what has the guy who made Tetris made outside of Tetris? Who fucking cares he made Tetris? He also got really screwed with it. Nah, he yeah, he owns the rights now. He yeah. has a Tetris company. And, be, and saying he was screwed out of it is a very light way of saying he lived in the Soviet Union where nobody was allowed to have private property made in a government environment. Correct. I was trying Which to more like, I was trying to keep it simple, but yes. It's more about it's less being screwed over and more like being born in the wrong place at the wrong time. Coming for you, bro. Can't wait to meet our bro Bob. Bob bro. Uh to that, Black Jacket, I say, Notch isn't good, but also the internet is really great at radicalizing people, especially if they choose to uh, choose to isolate themselves. I will say that uh, he at least did a good job of telling all the alt writers who tried to recruit him to fuck themselves because he, he didn't want anybody capitalizing on his shit, including right-wingers. It's just that he in general has shit takes. Yep. Just, just notch, please. Just stay divorced in your candy mansion. I, I, by the way, I didn't understand that candy mansion until I moved uh, to Sweden. Because in Sweden, uh, it's a pretty big thing to have the candy aisle uh, in uh, in a supermarket, which is basically that you have a bunch of little compartments with candy, and then you fill out the bag, and then you just pay based on the weight of the bag. So I think. When people looked at that and they were like, oh, he just has a bunch of candy. No, he was just recreating the thing that's in Swedish stores, I guess. Uh, my stance is also candy is great, so who cares? Yeah, I fucking love to have candy wall. Oh, also. Hey, Dr hey Draga, hey, uh, Shark. Yep, hey, Drag, hey, Shark. Um. Our, our, I don't know if he's older. Or, or, I think our young, I think he's younger. Our brother told us to meet him here on this floor, but didn't tell us where the fuck to go. So that's good. They want me to call a guy. Nah, nah, I can find him. The nose knows, and we've got quite the schnoz. We can smell a man a mile away with this fucking honker. I look pretty HD today. Yeah, this is a sneak preview. It's for all of those people who are dedicated viewers to the cross promotion between Real Slavic Bear and Torpid Type at Twitch TV. It's, it's, it's cross branding pollination. It's dedicated to um, all the brave Torpo fighters. <laughs> Thank you, all the <laughs> fighters, exactly. I, I will in a second, Marathian. God, it's such a it's fucking incredible ending.
Back that ass up. Well, somewhere in deck four is our bro. Yeah, uh, I'm glad he really got specific with that one. That's great. I love... It, it's like talking to somebody being like, Hey, can we meet in Manhattan? It's like, what? <laughs> Where? Well, I, I narrowed it down. I said Manhattan. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to the less terrible floor before I go to the terrible floor. It's like also all of these decks are like two floors, so our brother is a useless piece of shit. Brother, brother. Who do you think has the superior genes, Jack or Bob? Hmm. Jack, look at that fucking schnoz. I think, yeah, I think Jack has a superior genes. I, I wouldn't trust anybody called Bob, no offense to any Bobs in chat, uh, okay. to have superior genes. What the fresh fiddle yuck is this shit right down here? I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, that thing? Yeah, that looks fucked up. I'd shoot it. Sean or Jason? Oof. I hate both Jason my sons is the one equally. That dies. Jason is the one that dies in the car in the dumbest way possible, Yes. Right? Despite us you... using our body to absorb the shock. Yeah, so you also, when you play the game for the first time in your life, you had the reaction of like, Oh, okay, Jason's okay. Like, we saved him. Yep. And broke a few ribs. Okay, good. Because uh, I was playing that with, uh, if you remember, Kovac. We were playing that. Uh, together for the first time, and we got that like, oh, okay, we managed to save the kid, that's good, and then, like, what was it, like, three years later, it's like, uh, Jason's dead, and I'm like, oh, wait, what, how did he die, didn't we save him? It has been so long since I streamed those games. I, I kind of don't want to give David Cage more exposure, I think he's fine. I think those VODs are lost to time, outside of, I, maybe the Detroit Become Human streams? Yeah. I will say, those games have some really cool set pieces, but as a whole, they always fall apart. Because I liked Fahrenheit quite a lot until the midway point where it went to Fuckville City. I still have, like, a teensy soft spot for, like, Beyond Two Souls, but man, is it fucking creepy to Elliot Page. Holy shit. I mean, Hard, uh, Heavy Rain, not Hard Rain. Heavy Rain was creepy towards a lady character as well. When, when it remembered it had a lady character. I love that the game just had an idea for her somewhere like in the middle to be relevant and then they realize oh shit she's a major playable character uh we need to like add a, a chapter with her and it's just like a nightmare sequence that makes no sense i mean yes acts uh I, honestly there's like maybe a few of them but uh th there's also the whole fact that the contract specifically stated that there wasn't supposed to be a new model of, of elliot page and they still had one anyway in the files <laughs> Yep. Wee. Oh, yeah, Steve, but, like, not to downplay it, but that, that's not surprising to anyone. Age is an intense creep. Hey, buddy, you doing all right? So we're gonna, are we gonna help that man? He seems like he, hey, he hey, pal. you know. You doing okay? He has a lot. He has a lot of blood on the outside. That's usually bad. You want some help, friend? You all look so good, pal. You all, you all look so great. I think the blood is meant to be inside the body. At least that's what I've been told. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> don't don't weld him. I'm gonna help it's restart gonna help. his heart. He'll he'll live. I think he'll be fine now. Can't I mean, never forget, chat, uh, fucking Fahrenheit are 
Indigo Prophecy or whatever you want to call it, the the end of the game, the the dance scene in the credits has him grinding, has David Cage's model grinding on the scantily clad female lead. Is it necrophilia if it's an undead? Hey, uh, that's complicated. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Depends on the kind of undead. Together. What happened? Well, the one from Fahrenheit. He, he, he just took mm. the, the That stuff, one's weird. And yeah. that's it? Who did this to you? What stuff? Hang in there. <laughs> He's gone. It's like he was killed with a knife. A knife. My comrade. Oh! Okay. Well, it was I great knowing you. Southern, can't believe Southern Cross is involved in this. Damn. Already up. I can't. I can't loot him. Sir, what are you looking at? Oh, it's full of full dirt. Of dirt. Oh. Hey, Beast Hunter, I'm I'm doing good. Uh, hey, Beast Hunter. I I still love uh for Detroit Become Human him saying, "Uh, but this game is unique cuz the androids are the good guys." Okay. <laughs> sure. I don't know if this guy's got anything on him. No. I'm gonna restart his heart. Restart my heart sounds like a, a Eurodance song. Look, man, I restart still like my restart my heart brackets rap version. I still like kickstart my heart. That shit gets me fucking pumped. Exactly, X. It kicks ass. Ah, oh, I love the word room where I can't see shit. Don't worry, everyone. I can just barely see anything at all. I can barely see anything. Yeah, it's great because I don't have like a flashlight or anything. Important to note. Uh, let's see, where do I need to? Right, I don't know where I need to go. I fucking hate my brother. Mayor, my brother sucks. Wow, same. <laughs> oh wait, you mean the one in the game? Uh, I yeah, no, yeah. My my actual brother, I'm very neutral on. I haven't talked to him directly in actual years. Hmm. I have I have strong sibling opinions. Only to that. Yeah, no, I mean with good reason, but yeah, that's that's neither here nor there. Fuck. Where are we going? Actually, I know where you should be going. You just, you just want to find it naturally through the game. Yeah. Oh, God. My favorite video How game, I Fumbling in the Dark. What if you get eaten by a Gru? Fucking put me out of my misery. Hey, brother! 
Are you in here? Brother, where art thou? Gotta fucking tase his nuts when I see him. We're in a magazine. Look, in my experience, it's... that's a brotherly thing to do. Is a magazine an actual phrase that people will use for that? Because, like, in, in... I don't know if it's in English. I know in, like, German it's magazine, and in Serbian as well. But, like, you call a storage room a magazine in English? I mean... Maybe. I forgot the fart boys. Sorry, I had to do that because I like okay. the noise. Because I've never heard anybody use the word magazine in English for that. But specifically ammunition storage room. Got it. Yeah, in German and in uh, Serbian it's any sort of storage room. Le Magazine. It's probably not pronounced like that. God, this place sucks! Technically, the term is magazine and clip is something gun that's hate. And I use it at work if I want to be annoying. Always call it a clip. Interesting. I like one of the things about language. I like how you're so zoomed out that there's barely any sound. Yo, what the fuck? Did it just spit on you? It didn't spit on me, it shoved its face at me. I hate this little... Like, like this, this dinging in the background. You hear that, right? A tiny bit of hammering. Yeah. Or do you mean the groaning? No, not the groaning, the like high pitched, like. Oh, yeah, the drone? Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, the drone. Yeah, it's just always there. Got a slight warble to it, but it's always there. Wow, our brother's not in the electrical substation. I can't believe it. I wish I knew where our brother was. I mean, do you want me to tell you? No, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Stubborn as always. I'm. Look, man. This is not my fault. I am blameless. I am a victim here. <laughs> and, and we all suffer for it. <laughs> Marco Polo. I get a reference. I like to imagine that you went into every single room on the floor so far, except the one you have to go to. I love this track. This isn't the right room, but I just I want to hear it for a second. It's it's very Dreamcast. Look at him, look at the little guy! Fuck. Oh, is that a one-way door? This track sounds like a final boss song. Yeah, it, it's also, once again, just very Dreamcast, and I love it for that. It sounds like something out of Parasite Eve as well. A little bit, but funkier. Funky Eve.
Yeah, no, as I said, I I think the soundtrack is good. It's just never there. And that's the tragedy of it. Brother, where are you? That sucks. Mitochondria is powerhouse of the dance floor. Yeah. yeah. How does the FAMAS actually perform IRL? I am sure both Marathian and Lolo are typing out a response for that right now. I hate the FAMAS. I hate how it looks. It looks like shit. They have whatever they want to have, Shark. <laughs> oh no, Lolo and Murphy, they're now not responding, I was like... That was a compliment, I trust your weapon opinions. I'm still of the stance that it's an ugly gun, now I'm just going backwards. I mean, I... Uh, my taste in weapon aesthetics uh, is terrible for anybody who actually likes weapons, because I like shit like the uh, Chipaka Rhino, which usually gun that's react to with, that's dumb. <laughs> that's a dumb gun. It doesn't look like a real gun. I, I must be just like hover handing the shit out of this door, or this room. Where is it, Bear? Okay, we've given up. Uh, it is... Uh, keep heading towards the power substation on deck 4. Put the fuse in the control box with a node attached to it. Use the computer terminal. Ten to twenty grand. Yeah, guns are. I, whenever I hear gun prices, I kind of go like, "Wow, this is almost as expensive as collecting magic cards." Not quite. Also, I will never not use hover handing as a term, and nobody can stop me. Uh, the bad one, Squires. Hey, yeah, Squires. This is Resident Evil on a boat. I wonder how many games use the Galil, like non military games. Because usually people just prefer using the M4 or the AK. Also, Steve, that doesn't really work. Because when I say hover handing something, I mean coming close but never actually touching it. Because actual hover handing in photos is very funny every time. Hey, does does Payday 2 have a Galil equivalent? Yeah. Payday 2 has like no, almost 100 guns or over 100 guns I know at this point. In fact it does, okay. Yep, that's a Galil. Well, a Galil equivalent. First Maiden Machine Gun has it. 
And I'm also just eternally tired of the Glock being in everything ever, but also it makes sense it's in everything ever because it's so accessible. Yeah, it's also just kind of an ugly handgun, though. Yeah, I hate how square it is. It is a brick. I think the strike, which is inspired by the... Um, uh, by the Glock and Payday 3 has a brick skin on it that you can get. Good. I know there is one gun and like oh. a pistol that has like a brick skin. Fuck oh. me. You need help? Trying to figure out what the purpose of this is. I I don't know. I guess this is to let you open certain doors you couldn't before. Yeah, what does the guide say? Okay. Turn on everything except for the ward room. Got it. Okay, time to go somewhere that's not here. No, I love watching that, um, um, what's it called? That channel that does, like, uh, firearms history, and it's a guy that goes and shows off various old weapons in museums, like and every time he shows- Forgotten weapons, yes. Every time he shows off a, uh, ex-Yugoslavian weapon, uh, it's just like, yeah, so this is basically- this gun from X country, except they made two changes, one of which was very good and one which is questionable. I killed that thing for no particular reason, apparently. And you know what? That's fine by me. Wow, murder without justification? How could you torp it? I'm a cop. Oh, okay. That's fine, though. You don't need to explain anything then. Wait, are Spark cops or are you military? Uh, extra military. Well, you're not a cop then. You are Spark. Like, we're, we're, we're like some sort of rescue team, but we're armed like fucking military forces. I just realized that Spark is probably inspired by stars. From Resident Evil, like as an abbreviation. Spark stands for super rad and powerful cops. I'm a member of a Spark. You want Spark? I'll give you a Spark. Damn, you're so fucking cool. Fuck off, game. Also, shout out to the jackhammer, the gun that only really exists in movies. Also, let's take a second to appreciate that this is the dude who would fucking attack me if I talked to him. Hmm. Oh, he's a zombie now? Yeah. Damn, who would have thought? How ironic, now he is a zombie, even though he attacked you for being a zombie. I mean, yeah, but we kind of know that's how that works. Yeah, Black Jacket, he's covering Zastava weapons. Funny thing about Zastava, they produce firearms and cars. Ooh. What about firearms yeah. for cars? I mean, we're, we're still waiting for the post-apocalyptic twist in the middle future. 
But man, when that happens, oof, we got one locale for the entire market. Also, it's not Zastrava, it's Zastava, which means flag in Serbia. I'm fighting the urge to heal just so he'll stop fucking panting. You know, like hearing the panting in your ear. You know, no. You know, like hearing Ingles pant. I went to get close to my mic and instead hit the frame of my glasses on the pop filter. I'm sorry, chat. My greatest secret that I've mentioned repeatedly. I wear glasses. Glasses are cool. They're great. I love them. It means I can see. Why, why, why doesn't your uh, um, slime sona have glasses? Because it doesn't. Next question. Because <laughs> you forgot. I didn't care at the time. I think it would be cool. Why would a slime need glasses to see? Yeah, look, slimes can have funny eyes too. No, that's not you how that have, works, Squares. You should have those, like, intelligent glasses. Like, you know those glasses that are not, like, full uh, size, but they're, like, half size, so just the bottom for reading? No, I need my glasses big so I can see everything. See, there you go, Squares. It's, oh, it's why actually, you I duct guess tape I them to the sides of my body. I guess I can show this off, uh, real quick. <laughs> I, yeah, because I like how the the person who made this also made the glasses so they go over, like, the jaw spikes, so they're actually on my face correctly. <laughs> oh my god, please, for the love of god, Jack, stop panting! What do you have against some panting? It's annoying and it's non-stop. Just heal them. I don't have anything to heal with that won't be excessive. <laughs> ah yes, he's only allowed to heal as much as he needs. American healthcare. No, actually then he wouldn't heal at all, never mind. Do you need guidance? Yeah. Okay. Use computer turn will turn on everything except for the wardrobe. Head down the stairs and kill the uh, ants. You're heading to hold one block A to use your C card. Open the door and enter. Okay, I'm in hold one block A. So you need to go to block C. I don't know where I'd use the C card. On a door. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate your deep insights. I'm here to help. I'm sure you some are. Co some co-commentators may go on streams just to shoot the shit, but I have a browser tab open. I'm useful. I'm different. Yeah, it was really fun helping, like, Wang with that train Odyssey, because I just had a shitload of fucking tabs open at any moment. Yeah, these are all elevators, so... I mean, this says hold one block A. I'm in well, it. The, I need to be you. on the upper what, floor. Higher upper floor, or what's the door oh, behind you? Oh, fuck this game. Well. Okay, I know where to go. Okay. Uh, yeah, Carmine, yeah. Thulu Casino. Uh, that's, that's the nickname for the, uh, the, the super boss, the final, final boss of, uh, 
Etrian Odyssey 3. Uh, because uh, after you get it down below 75% health, uh, it, its pattern is completely random. There is no pattern. Hmm. You can mitigate some things, but there is no pattern. Uh, and it's miserable. Do all the other enemies operate on patterns in the game? Usually there's some sort of logic. It's a game about pattern finding. Okay. Yeah, most bosses and stuff have have some kind of pattern that you can work off of. Cthulhu doesn't. Well, maybe Cthulhu has a pattern, but it's random because you can't comprehend it. Does input reading on the turn you input power games there the turn after? Yeah, that's the other thing. It cheats like a motherfucker. God, I hate combat in Fade Extra, Marathian. It's it's a game all about rock, paper, scissors. I don't think this counts as uh hey. Does it call it differently when you uh, were out? Uh, yeah, no, it's not because uh, it's actually highlighting that white block over there. Mm -hmm. I was just misreading. Mm. Super boss on three just straight up hates you. Yeah, it has counters, it has heals, it will input read to counter you. That's amazing, Marathian. Yeah, it's a bold move to have your game be entirely rock, paper, scissors. So if you're unlucky, or don't know the patterns, you can just straight up get fucked, even early on. Uh, this is about Fate Extra. Rock, paper, scissors. You know who also likes rock, paper, scissors? David Serling. Damn. Yeah, but imagine an RPG in all of the combat is just rock, paper, scissors. Isn't that all RPGs? No, no, not like weapon triangle stuff or anything. Literally rock, paper, scissors. Hmm. So Alex Kidd. Yeah. Fear and hunger with a extra vector. I've, I've done it already, Bear. Done what? Been here. Oh. Wait, is this. But is this the spot I told you, or did you just go to the white room? Is this specifically says hold one block A to use your C card, open the door, and enter? Get the machine gun magazines, talk to the crew member. Yeah, he's the dead dude. Okay. I don't know where the magazines are, though. Okay. Head back to the mushroom hall, killing plants through the stairs, enter the western door at the end of the hall, get the machine gun magazine from the boys in the hall. Done. Search the body in the corner for a nameplate with a nine digit security code. Did you do that? No. Okay, so that is... So enter the western door at the end of the hall, get the machine gun magazine from the bodies in the hall, enter the door at the end, kill the vine soldiers and activate the crane, and then search the body in the corner. The western door. Western door.
So go where again? So it says... Um, head back to the mushroom hall, killing the ants near the stairs. Enter the western door at the end of the hall. Get the machine gun magazine from the bodies in the hall. Enter the door at the end. Kill the vine soldiers and activate the crane. Fucking... Okay, that, that makes no sense, but okay. That's what the guy says. It's you need like, to go somewhere where you activate a crane. Yeah, it's like too vague. Hey, Wang. <laughs> You're mad about the cards? Are you mad about the Fallout set? Okay, so there's a, there's, there a crane in this room, Corbin? No. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why they're bothering with Caesar. Caesar is like the most boring character in Fallout. Later, pal! That guy, what a guy. Yeah, Mr. House would have been a better choice. The only thing I'm interested in with the Fallout set is a mysterious stranger card. I hope he's a planeswalker. Is that the crane? Used. I mean, Mysterious Stranger only really... Like, Mysterious Stranger would have to be something that has a random chance of activating whenever you attack. Something like flip a coin. I still like that New Vegas had... Uh... A lady mysterious stranger, I think it was Miss Fortune, who was fucking awful and terrible because she only did stamina damage. I don't remember Miss Fortune. It was specifically New Vegas. Mm, I just always liked uh, the mysterious stranger as a concept. Do you link me the guide? This is the guide, and the part is this. Just control F that. I need to read this. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just it's it's an old game fact. It's not your FAQ. fault. Or something under common, flip a coin of heads. Garbage gains death touch on first strike. I think a death touch would be a good thing. Problem is, what do you mean? What does it mean by mushroom hall? I assume a hallway filled with mushrooms. I'm gonna look for just something on this map with a western door. My favorite strat in Fallout, like classic Fallout games, will always be uh, remove pin from grenade and then counter pickpocket an enemy and put the live grenade in their pocket and leave. 
Yeah, this looks like a mushroom hall to me. Yep, but I think I have a vague idea of where it means. God, every time you're in this room, I I feel like the game didn't load, and then I hear you walking. I can see it sort of. Boy, howdy, I love navigating in this game. Oh shit, you know who they're gonna put in the magic uh, Fallout decks, probably. Who? Fucking three dog. A woo? Yo, three dog! Yeah, I remember three dog, I hated him. Cause like, he's this really weird judgy character who's obsessed with your karma. <laughs> He's a gamer. He can only he can only interpret people with like alignment charts. It's true. He takes your photo and then puts it on the demotivational poster beam with an alignment. I'm sorry, this is gonna be the FO three. I mean, of course, the most bo boring color combo is gonna be Fallout three. Yeah, I guess I chose poorly. Uh, oh, I hate it. I hate this sort of Fallout 3 so much. Also, why do you, do you see they're introducing the junk tokens as well? So we have a new artifact token type, as if we didn't have too many already. Anyway, enough magic. We're talking about the uh, horror games now. Yeah, horror, all right. Nothing more scary than card games. It's true. They'll destroy your wallet. Yeah, uh, we talked about this last time, but boats are in the good setting for um, horror games because if you try to make it look like a boat or a ship, everything will look the same. I mean, you could maybe work like a luxury cru cruise liner or something like that, but... You, you mean how Resident Evil Revelations did? Yep. Yeah, that, that usually helps. But like something like this, like a military slash research research ship. No. Can't wait to play Deep Fear after this. And get lost again. I used to be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh, but whenever I see a new Yu-Gi-Oh card, I have to read the text six times and I still am not sure what the card does anymore. Mm. I got turned around. Oh no. Oh no. You'll get there eventually, Jack, and then he can stop fucking panting.
That's right, activating that power was all for this moment. Okay. Did you find the spot? Did you find the crane? Yep, give me a second. We're gonna look awesome. at that name tag. Because I was getting desperate, I was about to start reading Yu-Gi-Oh cards and try and interpret what they mean. No. You don't need to talk about the Neo-Spacians or the Gradius card or fucking whatever. So so I saw this one the other day and I just I literally cannot understand what it does, even though I played a fuck ton of Yu-Gi-Oh back in like the 2000s. <laughs> Bob! Jack! Oh, glad to see the brother has okay. got some impressive jowls. Jack, I never expected to see you here. When they were putting together the team, I volunteered. Bob, what's going on here? Well, it all started when we brought Ark on board. Ark? What is Ark? I, I heard it was some sort of ancient organism. Or is it those monsters? No. Ark is the plant infestation that is spreading throughout the ship. Those monsters are just drones that carry the seeds. Drones? Yeah, Ark plants its seeds inside humans. Those infested with Ark lose consciousness and attack anything still human, passing on the seed. What? How could such a thing happen? I don't know, but it seems that Ark targets humans. We'll have to eliminate it then. How do you stop this Ark? The only thing I can think of is to destroy the engine room and sink the ship. You want to sink the NTA flagship? What are you, nuts? Oh, wow. If Ark reaches land, there will be no going back. Hey, we don't have a choice. Maybe you're right, but let's keep our options open. We have a scientist on board. Maybe he'll find something. It must have a weak point we can use against it. All right, leave the ship to us. You head for the flight deck. No, I can't. I have to find the other guys from my unit. They they must still be alive. Just leave that to us. You have to get out of here. What are you saying? I'm a soldier. I will not let you face this alone. But at the very least, I know the ship better than you. Hey, I want to help. All right then, but be careful. I know. I made it this long. Don't worry. Hey, I'm out of here. I have to find the rest of my unit. Be careful. I will contact you later. Okay. Bob? Don't do anything stupid. Oh, he's gonna do something stupid. When will you stop treating me like a child? Bye. I love how that entire conversation was, no, you should go to safety, leave the rescuing to us, to us, and he agrees, and then he goes, okay, I'm off to find my unit, bye. Okay. Now is the fun part. Where's the door I need? I don't remember which part of the boat it's on. Actually, wait, no, I know a way to remember. By reading the guide? No, by looking at my fucking map. Do you have a map? You know you know how bad it is when you're frequently using a map? Okay, I have a, a conundrum. Yep. I don't know where to use it on the map. What do you mean? Uh, the key card. I don't know where I would use it. I was like, it's not listing any locked doors. This just says... Okay, take the southern door in the mushroom hallway and climb down the ladder, go through the door yeah. and up the hall, and climb down to hatch I need to five. go to deck five. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll read the effect of this card. Um, uh, it requires two runic monsters. It's a fairy fusion effect monster with zero attack and defense. If this card is special summoned from the extra deck, you can discard one card, 
add one runic field spell from your deck to your hand. If another card uh, you control would be destroyed by card effect, you can banish this card you control instead. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, return the card to the extra deck. That sounds needlessly complicated. I think what it's trying to say is this card takes the bullet for something else, and if it dies directly, you just put it back in the extra deck. But yeah, I, I don't understand. Like, a lot of modern Yu-Gi-Oh cards are like that. Uh, not counting, like, special stuff. I just don't understand what, what they mean anymore. It's a mystery. Name of the card is Hugging the Runic Wings. Sounds stupid. That's, that's a cool fairy design. I meant the name. Sorry, it's not Huggin, it's Hugin, because it has one G. Mm. My bad. Wait, so it's is a it good like name, a crow? actually. Uh, it's a fairy with crow wings, yes. Yeah, see, Carmine got it too. I, I, yeah, I don't care about Odin. I'm a furry, I only care about Egyptian mythology. I mean, there's only really two people that care about Norse mythology, like two kinds of people. It's people interested in, his in history, and also Nazis. Yep. I mean, I like the art of New Yu Gi-Oh cards, uh, I just... Like, th the text box is so small Captain and the Mike. effects are so Lieutenant big. Manning. Oh, hey. Jack? I'm glad to see that both of you are okay. Is everything okay? It's nothing. Lieutenant Manning and I were just discussing our duties. Isn't that right, Lieutenant? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Are that's you two, sus. like, boning or something? Let's cut the chit-chat. Everybody knows what no, they have to do. No, I remember this plot point. Everything will be clear when you play as um, Sergeant B. Jessifer Man. If I find anything, I'll let yeah. you know. Jessifer. Jessifer Manning. If that is your real name, it actually is. Like, did her parents just fucking hate her or something? What a loving parent named her child Jessifer. No. I always feel bad when they make those jokes because I'm worried somebody in chat is gonna go, but well, that's actually my real name. And I'm like, fuck. Who is it? Bob? Jack. What happened, Bob? Are you okay? What happened? You sound funny. Are you okay? I'm okay. Just hurry. There's not much time. Where are you? I'm in front of the maintenance room on deck four. I thought I'd be able to find something to remove whatever is stuck to this key. Ah! Bob, what happened? I'm sorry, Bob. Can you repeat that? Bob, I missed that. Could you could you say it again? Hell yeah, more fish shit. What are your feelings on fish, Bear? Not like as a food, just fish. Wait, what do you mean just fish? I mean, they're fine. I appreciate that there is something that can exist in water. We have things that exist in the water, in the air, in the earth. We just need things that exist in fire. My fish are okay. Not a fan. Hate him. 
I think what's fucked up is mammals that live in the water. You're like, that whale is a fish, and a dolphin is a fish, and somebody goes, actually, they're mammals, and then I go, what? What the fuck do you mean they're mammals? That makes no sense. Next thing you'll tell me is that the tomato is a fruit. I shot something. I don't know what I broke, but I broke something. I know, we're gonna try to control the horrible monstrous plant fo life form. We can do it. We just need to work together, put our minds together. A tomato milkshake. I mean, that's a, probably a thing. Let me type tomato milkshake in Google. Uh, is it perhaps a fish axe? Yep, tomato milkshakes are a thing. Wow, I, 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 so good. <laughs> Fucking goddamn joke is old as time. That's a bloody Mary. <laughs> I hate tomato soup. I'm fine with it. Love to love tomatoes, but in soup form, fuck them. I don't need them. Let me open up. God, where is this game even going? I mean, we basically know what the enemy- like, there's not really much of a twist. We more or less know everything. Also, we just completely stopped using the back-of-the-box gimmick, which was invisible enemies. Yep. Told you it stopped mattering quickly. I'm more annoyed that apparently there's like a grenade launcher somewhere, and I don't know where it is. Bear bagging tomatoes like an apple, I would. Gross. I'd also bite into a bell pepper. Uh, even more gross. I'd grab, the, I'd grab the bell pepper and just munch it. I don't know if we can be friends like anymore. Savage. Wow, I can't believe you're discriminating me based on my bell pepper preferences. Yes, you can. I, I just didn't expect it. Well, you clearly are not paying attention. I'll, I'll admit it's been very it's been taking all of my willpower to pay attention to this game honestly yeah, I can I'm, I'm kind of I, I'm kind of just like what are we doing where are we going oh thank god a cutscene so and that's the, the problem happens. is we have like an overall go goal we, we know what we need to do and what we need to kill and so it just feels like busy work getting to that point. Oh my god, a cutscene. Why though? Every time I get we get a cutscene in this game, it's just like an endorphin rush. I'm just like, oh, thank god, a cutscene. Oh, something interesting. Even if it's for just like three seconds. I, I don't know why that merited a cutscene. That's fine. Resident Evil does that shit all the time. I guess? You kill, five, you kill, you kill like a hundred zombies and then there's a cutscene and you're like, Oh my god, three zombies are coming out! It's like, okay, I don't care. Well, like, it wasn't even trying to, like, draw my attention to anything. Yeah, yeah, level 3 energy drink. That's what we need. I look forward to you going to a boss with like 30 level 3 energy drinks and then finishing the fight with one left because it's some bullshit. Uh, don't worry, Bear. There's one thing I can absolutely assure you of. 
the final boss of this game fucking sucks. Okay, that's good to know. It's, it's all I'm gonna. It's all I'm gonna say. Well, when you have a bad game like this, you know you're in for two things. Either the final boss is just piss easy, or the final boss is some inhuman shit that they want you to do. Oh, like, yeah. When's the last time you played a bad survival horror game and did the final boss and go like, oh yeah, that was actually a pretty good fight. Damn it. Oh, you got a bed. Sorry, it's so dark, it's hard to tell sometimes. Hey, finally, I have an excuse. Fucking A. Hey. You did it. You made optimal use of your resources. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of me, too. If you were playing Guilty Gear, you'd be able to hold the burst until you're on your last pixel of health. I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, so a burst is a combo breaker stock that is, is, is on its own meter, and you usually get one per round on average. Cool. And holding a burst means that uh, you're basically not breaking a combo. And you're just taking it because you are worried the opponent might be baiting it. So a lot of top players just hold a burst until they have like one pixel of health left. Excuse me. I apologize for yawning. Uh, it's fine. Trying my best here. It's a very exciting game. The you action know, just keeps flooding in. Still more entertaining than Deep Fear. I I I think I'd be dead if you were doing Deep Fear. I'd just be like, like gone. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. This is not the most boring thing you played, though. There was something that just, like, like completely killed me. But I can't remember what it was. The ring? No, the ring. Well, first off, the Torpid did the ring solo. He didn't do it with me. Mm -hmm. And second, the ring is more entertaining than this. The ring goes places outside of the one fucking track that sucks ass. Yeah, the ring... Is boring to watch, but it has so many cutscenes and they're so long. Fond memories of not having the weapon they really want you to use to kill the final boss, but using the a different weapon that can instant kill and just abusing that. Yeah, I remember having that on my monitor and a colleague seeing your stream. And being like, oh my god, what is that? It looks terrifying. And I stared at him and then started the screen watching uh, Dreamcast era Sadako hopping. And it was like, uh, it's an old horror game. As I wailed on her with a katana, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, like, really? You think that looks like disturbing and scary? Okay. Look, everyone has a different threshold. I guess. Oh. Fuck. <sighs> yeah, I... I don't know what it wants from me now. I open up this whole new area and there's just nothing. Why game? I think you have to find Bob in the maintenance room or whatever. Cause like, I've been in every room here. Well, he's somewhere in deck 4. Yep, 
Yeah, no, this place blows. Can you open the map? Can we go through the rooms? Oh, so this is deck five. Well, I need to go back One. to four. I just got a card for five. Yeah, because Bob went to deck four. Remember when he ran out? That was deck four, and Bob's Bob, in trouble. So to go to I'm four. going to beat your ass. Bob, I'm gonna break your shin so you can never walk away ever again. Why would you do that? So he can stop causing me problems. Wow, that's really that's really harsh. Bob's doing his best, you know. Yeah, well his best isn't fucking good enough. Yeah, that's what dad used to say. Yeah, and he was right! You know, Bob still blames him that dad went for cigar cigarettes and never came back. Good for You're him. You're just rubbing it in his face now. Yeah, why don't I go get some fucking milk then? God, this game is a thrill a minute. You know what? You know what, Bear? Are, are, are we dropping? I think I've reached my limit for today. I'm glad it's you who reached your limit. Yeah, this is just like, oh my god, you need to play something with more, like, events oh. per minute. Look! <laughs> Damn! Nerds. Nice. Well, I guess we gotta go find Bob then. Hello, Raiders. How's no, it going? Uh, no. Oh well. Time to time to give the audience what they want. How is it going? Hey. How was your stream? Hello. Thank you for the raid. This we were about to leave, but we, we, I guess we gotta see Bob now. We gotta find Bob! I don't know where he is, but we gotta find him! Our loving brother, Bob! Time to talk m about more Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Bear. Um, yeah. I remember back in the day when a Yu-Gi-Oh uh, card uh, had like three lines. Bob! What? Bob! <laughs> Why are you on the opposite end of this floor, you dumb son of a bitch? <laughs> I'm going to kill that man. I'm going to find him and I'm going to gun him down. It's fine. I got farted on by a mushroom. Whatever. He's losing his kneecaps. So, so while my first dex chat was a blade rabbit beast deck, which was a deck where I played a rabbit that had uh, knives for teeth and an eye patch. And the rabbit card would say when this card switches from attack to defense position, destroy an opponent's monster. And that was my deck. I would just keep switching attack positions and killing people's creatures and then hitting them with a big beast. Ah, uh, I, I see, I saw. Yeah, exactly. That's how you know. He's doing this to spite us. Maybe it's because of all the bad things I said about him. Maybe it's because of all the bad things I said about him. But you know what? That's fine. He deserves it. I'm vindicated. My life. If Bob dies, it's gonna be really sad. I'm gonna feel bad for all the bad things you said about him. I won't. Fuck him. What's Bob ever fucking done for me anyway? But yeah, Hals, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed your game. By the by. Sorry, I'm distracted by my anger at our, our fictional sibling. Unlike my real sibling, who I'm perfectly content with having an awkward conversation every couple years. 
every couple of years. And that's it. Usually while his kids are being annoying nearby. It's great. He had the kids, so my mom expects nothing of me and my sister. It's fine. The bloodline will be maintained. She doesn't need you anymore. I went to the... You know, whatever. Nah, it's... At one point, she was really grandkid happy. Like, it was fucking... An obsession. And then, you know, my, my brother accidentally knocked up his now wife and had a shotgun wedding. It was great. Oh, hey! Oh, no. Bob! <laughs> 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 I love this shit. Oh, my God. Is that going to be on the soundboard? I don't think so, but man, it's good. Oh man, I can't loot my brother. Jack, now! Oh, okay. Thanks for turning on the lights. Game, please let me move. No, illegal. Jack, you son of a bitch! But Casperaga. No, this music kicks ass. I don't know what you're talking about, Carmine. I mean, I thought it was a compliment. Bob! Jack, it looks like I'm infected. Bob. Don't worry, I'm Bob. I'll blow your brains no, out for you. It's no good. I can hear the voice of Ark. It'll be okay. There must be something that we can do. The doctor. No, no. We tried everything. This track, though, this here. track is 100% Parasite Eve. Once you're infected, there's nothing that can be done. Bob! Jack, go. Please go. I'm losing it. I, I don't want you to see me change, Jack. No. No, I can't. Please, Jack. Jack, do what I say. At the very least, I want you to remember me as a human being. Here. A real human Take being. This. And a real hero. Yo, this is gnarly, gonna, dude. Whether that's a spatula? No, that's a key, never mind. Jack. Kill it. Kill Ark. I love my dead gay brother. I wonder if he was gay. In my head cannon, he was. Jack, though, only has eyes for Jessifer. Oh no! Oh no! Bob! Wow, I'm amazed at how clear that was through these thick metal walls. <laughs> Door won't open. I want to look at my dead brother. How dare you? They showed on the Silent Hill 2 where it's just like, there's nothing for me there anymore. You go back in and he's not there. Okay. Now, this is a good spot. I want you to know, chat, that I feel nothing because Bob has done nothing but piss me off. Well, now he's dead, so he won't be pissing up anybody. Now you can go piss off the Wait. devil. Yeah. Okay, that that's enough of that. I'm I'm done. I'm free. 
Yeah, or not, we still have to do this next week. Yes, but I mean for today. Yes, for today. Oh god, this game sucks. You chose this. You decided to go with this. This is a hell of my own making, and I fully accept that fact. I'm just here for the bribe, I guess. <laughs> a captive audience. <laughs> Either way. It's fine. We, we played Resident Evil 3. We have to now pay for that for like two months, I guess. I mean, I don't think there's a huge amount of the game left. We're definitely well past half. Torpid. Torpid, we're on one of two characters. We still have an uh, entire... Do we need to do Jessifer? I'm pretty sure you get, like, the true ending or whatever only after Jessifer. This is like a double campaign God game. God damn it, Jessifer! Fucked again by Jessifer. No. Maybe, maybe it's shorter, but there's definitely Jessifer to play. Either way. Uh, I hope y'all had fun, because, uh... Um, yeah. And if you want more fun... Oh, no, wait, how do I shut myself out? Like this. And then exclamation mark, shout out, or SO. Or slash, I don't know. There you go. There we go. Check out Real Slavic Bear, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Also, uh, doing a fucking marathon stream this Saturday. Because, uh, fuck you, I, it's my stream I do. Why? Oh, that's why I had- actually, let me- let me get the atrocity I made for the stream. It's- it's bad. It's- it's like the worst one of these I've ever made. It's- it's terrible. Is it the worst one? Yeah! That I've made. Uh, oh shit, I need to put this on a higher layer. I mean, go. I'm impressed by um, how much you've broken that down. Like, like everybody actually has a hairdo and everything. I mean, that's easy. Here you go, Chad. Shout outs. Shout outs to... Uh... Zero. The zero is really bad. I love it. <laughs> I mean, it kind of works if if zero has throat teeth, I guess. <laughs> Three. <laughs> yeah. So, so there's that. I guess that's gonna be happening. Hopefully, I can wake up on time. <laughs> I believe in you. I believe in me too. But either way, like there, I think to date there's only really one of these that I'm proud of, that I thought came out well. It yeah. was also the same one that I where I learned about the uh, font Mars needs Cunnilingus, which is an amazing name for a font. I might add. Is. Is that like a default system font? Uh, no. Uh, but okay. Undertale uses Good. it. Of course it does. But yeah, so the- Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you, you a big boy. Why are you so big? Yeah, there was this one I made a while that, back, but... Is that, is that for Undertale or Deltarune? Deltarune. Damn, I can't believe we spoiled Deltarune for me. I haven't played the... Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm in the game shop as a protector. shopkeeper. Ugh. Well, now I can't play it anymore. It's tragic, I know. Yeah. But either way, be there or be elsewhere. But in the meantime, I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. However much that might be. Wins be at your back, Chad. Goodbye. <laughs>